Oh, hello. You're probably wondering who I am, but that doesn't matter because I'm fairly attractive, well-shaven, and in a video, so you're probably going to listen to me. I'm here to talk to you about political ignorance in America, because in life we have a lot of distractions which keep us away from the truth. Like this commercial. Crack them, flakes! You can slurp them, chew them, and crack them! Crackle flakes! Can't get enough of that crackle. Now with wood chips. Like I was saying, politicians tend to take the focus from the real issue and point it to something more trivial, such as... Uh, Mr. President, what do you think about the debt accumulated by our government over the past 10 years? You know, that's a good question, but I have a better one for you. Where'd you get your haircut? I really like it. Supercuts, sir. That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Next question. Some feel government's too big. Like if they vote, it's not going to be important. Or maybe their voice won't be heard, so it won't make a difference. So they feel like this. Can you pass the salt? Shut up, kid. Okay. Brutal. But some people vote and don't even bother to be informed on which candidate or politician they should choose. So they sound ignorant. You all know these people. We all know Hillary's the more professional candidate. Yeah, 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 I'm not listening to you. She's got the credentials. Credentials? She's a criminal! I would rather vote for her than that racist! Racist? You want to see a racist? Hey, what are you doing? Turn it on the TV! Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! Hillary's a girl? Who's that orange guy? So That's so Trump! Talks about violence at my rallies. If you haven't identified these people, it might be you. Today people rally around politicians like sports teams with obnoxious testosterone. Man, do you feel the burn? Oh, I feel the burn! The burn! Yeah! Burn! 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 And so I digress. It all comes down to distractions. I mean, that's what keeps us from the truth, right? Like if a political advocate came to my door and said, Hi, would you like to sign here in support of Patricia Clarkson for Congresswoman? Uh, who's Patricia Clarkson? Would you like a lollipop? Where do I sign? But what if I was buying something with more immediate consequence, like thin mints? Hello? Hello, we are selling cookies. Would you like to buy some? Do you have any thin mints? Yes, we do. How do I know you're the real deal? Uh... Here, let me see the box. Make sure there's no Keebler Elf look-alike, huh? Wait a minute. You can take your cookies. Could you imagine if I was like that? Think about it. Do you spend more time researching about your next TV you're going to buy rather than who's in your city council? I mean, who's in your city council? Honey, where's the beef? It's right here. You're welcome. You see, there's a lot of distractions out there that keep us away from the truth. Like the fact that I haven't been wearing pants for this entire video. So what I'm trying to say is, maybe we should ask the deeper questions like, where is the beef? Politicians tend to te I don't know. tend to point, no, tend to take. What am I going to say here?